Hi, my name is Daniel Bay. I'm a dentist working in Massachusetts. Not all wisdom teeth need to be extracted. If they're fully erupted and you're able to maintain good oral hygiene, meaning if you're able to floss and brush these teeth just like you would for your other teeth, you do not need to take them out. But at the end of the video, I'll explain to you why maintaining a good oral hygiene practice on your fully erupted wisdom teeth is especially important. On the other hand, if you have impacted wisdom teeth, meaning if it's not erupted or it's partially erupted, that they are evaluated by your dentist and considered for extraction to prevent problems and disease, or if they have already occurred to alleviate them and stop them from occurring further. I've noticed that some patients may have this conception that it is not needed or that it can wait. Perhaps this is because the reason behind the treatment were not explained to you properly. Thus, today I want to take some time to explain and outline some of the reasons why a dentist may recommend impacted wisdom teeth removal and how getting the treatment without delay may benefit you. So let's begin. Wisdom teeth can be impacted because of the limited space in the mouth for these teeth to erupt properly. And they are impacted by bone, adjacent teeth, or excessive soft tissue. If your wisdom teeth is impacted and damaging your adjacent teeth, you need to remove your wisdom teeth. Have a look at this picture. This particular wisdom tooth is impacted by the adjacent tooth. It has started to damage the root of the adjacent tooth, and these type of root damages are very challenging to fix. And if the damage progresses further, they are not even savable. It would benefit you to take your wisdom tooth out prior to the damage of the adjacent teeth so that you don't run into the risk of losing more teeth than you need to. Furthermore, impacted wisdom teeth may lead to bone loss for the adjacent tooth as well. The damage depends on the orientation and position of the erupting teeth. Have a look at this picture. A tooth root is supported by a socket of bone. Due to the wisdom tooth way of eruption, one wall of that bone socket is gone and thus the adjacent teeth has lost bone supporting it. If they, meaning the wisdom tooth, were extracted prior to the damage of the socket supporting the adjacent tooth, then it, the patient would have been benefited a lot. Furthermore, partially erupted teeth are extremely hard to brush and floss. Not only are they located far behind, but they're also ill-positioned and covered by soft tissue that may hinder you from doing a good job brushing and flossing, which can lead to tooth decay. Look at this photo. You notice that the dental decay, which is displayed by the dark lesion, has not only affected the wisdom tooth, but the adjacent tooth as well. Difficulty to maintain good oral hygiene has led to severe tooth decay. Furthermore, these partially erupted wisdom teeth may also lead to inflammation of gums. Have a look at this example. This inflammation is caused by constant irritation from the opposing arch to the soft tissue covering your wisdom teeth. Removing your wisdom teeth will alleviate this problem. Other reasons why impacted wisdom teeth may be considered for removal include prevention of cysts and tumor associated with wisdom teeth, complication with orthodontic treatment to straighten your teeth, and prevention of jaw fractures. These are some of the reasons why a dentist may recommend wisdom teeth extraction. If the extraction is indeed required, proceeding it without delay may be beneficial so that it does not cause damage to the adjacent teeth or cause other problems. Like I said in the beginning, not all wisdom teeth need to be removed. Wisdom teeth that are fully erupted and, you, uh, and you're able to maintain good oral hygiene, they do not need to be removed. I would also like to say that these fully erupted wisdom teeth may develop dental decay like other teeth. However, the difference is that it is located far back where the opening width is most limited due to its proximity to the jaw joint. Even though dental equipment is developed to work in small spaces, there is a minimal amount of opening required for our handpiece to fit and remove the tooth decay, which can lead to a dental infection if left untreated. If that minimum space is not available, the decayed wisdom tooth is treatment plan for an extraction, which is removing the tooth rather than a dental filling. This may be an additional motivation to practice good oral hygiene. That wraps up my video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Please subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram. See you soon.